Biochemists are working in labs around the world to find new and cleaner fuels. In tonight's Innovate 8, Nichelle Medina profiles some South Bay teens powering their own discoveries while training to be our next generation of scientists. Go ahead. Students at Castle Park High School are creating alternative forms of energy. Today we're making biodiesel. So what that entails is mixing oil. What she's going to do right now is she's going to vent it. They're converting vegetable oil to biodiesel with the help of UC San Diego biochemistry professor Skip Pomeroy. I wanted to come back and do some outreach in the community that I, I came from. A Castle Park alum, Pomeroy's interest in chemistry was fueled in this very lab. Being involved in, and having the opportunity, I mean, so that's what this room was for me back 35 years ago. Hey, the glycerol that you've got over there, you could actually use as engine degreaser. I've been using this mechanism of biofuels as a way to try to teach chemistry to students as a way to help prepare them for going to college. Pomeroy created the program to power students' success in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. The problem is, is that even if they're interested in STEM, when they get to the university, the first class they take is chemistry. And if their chemistry preparation isn't really good, then they wind up feeling sort of bad about the experience, and then we have what we refer to in the trade as a leaky pipeline. To prevent those leaks, students are fully prepped in the science of biodiesel. They're figuring out the calculations in chemical compounds and producing a viable commodity. What went in was really cloudy, what comes out is really clean. The amazing thing about biodiesel is that it burns at a higher temperature, so it burns cleaner. So there's sort of a false thing at the moment with the prices dropping, but there's still only a finite amount of, of oil on the planet. And at some point we're going to have to figure out how to replace that fuel. If you're properly teaching science, it's relevant. It's hands-on. Dr. Pomeroy is, he's incredible for reaching out to us. He's bringing the university to us. They're giving us lessons from college classes, stuff that people from college don't even know. We don't want the water nor the sodium in our biodiesel. I want them to have what I would refer to as academic persistence. I want them to walk away with the feeling that even if it seems difficult, it can be done. Driving the future of innovation. Nichelle Medina, CBS News 8. To learn more about the biodiesel program and other STEM monitoring mentoring opportunities offered by UC San Diego, just visit our website and click on Innovate Aid.